Okay, tutorial 1-3 is about working with attribute data. Again, it has its own project, which will open from Windows File Explorer. We're going to start by exploring the MedExpress Clinics data. So we'll right-click on the MedExpress Clinics layer in the contents, and we'll choose Attribute Table. We can see a list of all of the different MedExpress clinics in the data along with where they are located. So this attribute ta table includes their longitude and their latitude. We can reposition these data. So for example, if we wanted to move website to the other side of zip code, that can be done uh, visually inside the attribute table. We can also sort these data. So for example, if we want to sort them by municipality, we can right click on the variable, choose sort ascending or sort descending if we would like it uh, start to start at the end of the alphabet rather than the beginning. Uh, we can also do custom sorts. So we right click on city or any variable and choose custom sort. We can choose city ascending, and then within each city, we can also have the address sorted in an ascending manner as well. So we click OK. And this matters for clinics, in Pittsburgh in particular, that are all within the same city. This puts them in order by address. We'll go ahead and save our project at this point. We'll click Save As and write Tutorial 1-3 Printer. Next, we want to quickly explore the field view of an attributes table. So we're going to close our current attributes table. The map is automatically going to recenter itself, and we are going to look for the tracked centroids feature. I'm going to turn them on. A centroid is the geometric midpoint of a given feature. So there should be a point roughly in the middle of each of the census tracts on our map. So it'll be those bluish green points that have just been added. We're going to right click on the feature. We're going to go to the attribute table. We're going to click on this icon in the upper right hand corner, three parallel horizontal bars. We'll select fields view. And here is where we can edit what we actually see. Uh, we can make certain fields visible or invisible. We can make them read only. We can change their name. And we can edit what's called an alias. Think of an alias as a sort of nickname. And so while field names themselves have certain rules about length or capitalization or symbols, aliases are far more flexible. Uh, so for example, we can retype um, the variable name for female headed household as female headed household. We can call unimp unemployed population. We can call this particular variable high school non-graduates. And then finally, poverty population. We can also use this to reorder fields. For example, we can move poverty population up in the table view. When we're ready, we can save our changes, close that window, and now we see the aliases appearing here, and they've been reordered. I'm going to talk a little bit more about selecting features, and we can do that with the FQHC clinics layer. So we'll go ahead and open the attributes table for this particular layer, right click on it, and choose Attributes Table. We'll highlight these first six rows. We can quickly undo that if we'd like to as well. 
there's a way to list in the contents uh, to list only layers that have selections. We're going to turn off poverty risk area, municipalities, and population density. Next, we're going to switch back to the drawing order view, which is the one we've been, we've been looking at before. And then we're going to manually select a group of clinics. I'm going to click the Select button. Select my first clinic. And then select four more at the top of the map. You do this holding down the shift key. I've got five clinics now selected, just like the book indicates. We can edit these again by reopening the attribute table. Click just the selected records. Or if we want, we can switch our selection so that we get the inverse. All of the other clinics except for the five we initially selected. That's all we're going to do out of this tutorial. Summary statistics um, are a handy thing to know, but it won't be a focus of this class, although we'll briefly talk about how to get them in R as well.